what is going on guys welcome back to another video on the temporary immersion bioreactors this time i'm working with the mania gracilis um, for this video i'm not going to show you the entire process of what is going on um, basically you have seen the previous video you already know what, what is happening i'm just moving the plant to different types of containers and trying to see what works best for each plant uh, in this video i want to show you how this the system works. I got an email from a person who was asking me um, how the temporary mesh by your actors work, like uh, what kind of pumps I'm using, uh, timers and solenoids and all that kind of stuff. So in this video I want to show you my setup and explain you how it works. So. Right, so let me explain you how the temporary mesh by your reactors work. So they use three aquarium pumps Ignore that one on the over there. Uh, that's just, that is going to be for the new temporary mesh and bioreactors. Uh, the homemade version are going to build. Uh, that's going to be soon. Uh, has a solenoid and two tigers. So the way it works is um, let me set up the timer. So if I remember how to do this, so I click on set. Uh, I have it set for five minutes every what is it every six hours and then keep confirm so what is happening now is that this is powering this pump um, this pump is all the way into the uh, is pushing air into the um, green tubes that was into the middle filter and the middle filter has the tubing that goes all the way to the bottom this is putting air that at the same time is pushing the the media the liquid media down on this uh, on this area which makes the all the liquid going up so that is how the liquid or the the media goes up Look how the s wrappings is doing. It's actually doing very well right now. I just started with two small uh, plants and it's doing pretty well. The other plants are doing okay. Nothing really significant for now, but they are okay. This is the pinguicula, it's doing all right. This is the Amania gracilis right here, the one I just did. Have a darling Tonia. Uh, it's growing some color, so it's not doing what I actually expected, but it's all right. Um, the Dosera capillaris hasn't grown a lot. I think I messed up the media somehow, so I would have to repeat the experiment. And the uh, Bacopa, it's actually doing fairly well. It's shooting uh, new shoots everywhere. So I'm pretty happy about that. So what's going to happen, and I'm going to pause the video here in a moment so you can just explain what is going on. This is um, set for five minutes. And after the five minutes, what is going to happen is that this pump is going to turn off and this is going to turn on. Now, um, this setup uses three filters. Now, a lot of people have asked me why it uses three filters.
filter, the media won't be able to go anywhere. Alright, now the other solenoid is on, I'm sorry, now the other timer is on, which uh, powers the other two aquarium pumps, the other on the back, and also powers uh, the, the solenoid. So what's going on is that the solenoid is connected to the first pump. Uh, however, when these other pumps are pushing air, which is going to one of the other filters on the side, again, the, that, the air coming, coming to the middle uh, on, the, on the green tube has to go somewhere. So that's why the solenoid has to open, so it lets the air out. And I hope that it's a little clear, but probably not. So let me see if I can explain a little better. So now that the other two pumps are on, air is coming to air is coming to the other tube, which is pushing uh, sterile air in into the containers and push the pushes the media down. Now the air or the the leak the media is pushing air to the green tube back and escapes to the solenoid. That, that's why it uses a solenoid and it uses two aquarium pumps. Um, if, you, if you have a two, uh, two filters set up like, a, like a, for uh, twin bottles, uh, you, you will use uh, either um, you will use either a three-way solenoid or two pumps. I'm still trying to figure out how to make it work. I think I can make it work. However, I'm still trying to find some of the materials that I need. Uh, hopefully that will come up soon. So the only thing that is left is that the media has to go down and that'll be pretty much everything. And the setup, it is actually for 12 hours. So this, um, it repeats every 12 hours for five minutes and that's been sufficient for most of these plants um you can do uh, i know some people do about 30 seconds or one minute soak and they do more often um with this aquarium pumps is not possible it doesn't have enough power to to run this uh the ten the ten temporary machine by reactors that i have uh, quickly, quickly enough to, to do in 30 seconds. So that's why I do five minutes and then, and that's why I do five minutes every 12 hours. Uh, otherwise, I may, I may be able to use the other pumps, like I found the bag, those are more powerful pumps. Um, however, for this setup, I, I think um, I'm okay with these other pumps and I will use uh, that pump and I have another one of those identical to that one um, also for the, the other setup which I'm probably going to set up within the next month or so hopefully we'll see how it goes if I can find everything that I need and pretty much I only I still have uh, two more uh, temporary mention by your reactors left so let me know what plans you want me to work with next and we'll see after I after that one is done um, I will come back to the first one and I will unflash um, well deflash uh, the plants that I have here and compare to what I have here on the bottom and see what works the best and as you can see um, some of those are not doing great so I already can tell some of the temporary version bioreactors are doing way better than the ones on growing in traditional tissue culture. Uh, also, this room is a little hot. Um, trying to see if I can get more cool air. Uh, it's a little difficult with on this room, but we'll see if I can make it work. All right, I hope you have enjoyed it. And if you have more questions, just let me know. And I will see you next time. Thanks. Hey, everyone. Thanks for watching the video. 
If you're enjoying these Tissue Culture videos, be sure to follow us on social media for more informative content. And if you're interested in conducting your own tissue culture experiments, make sure to check us out at plancelltechnology.com for all the products you need to get started. Use the code FP10 for 10% off your first purchase.